What's up, YouTube? Listen, guys, it's Saturday. You know I check in each and every weekend just to make sure we're relaxing, reflecting, rejuvenating, and refocusing around here, guys. Those are the four hours that I want to make sure that you guys are taking time out to do over the course of this weekend because you guys know it's one play a day at a time, okay? And so I want you guys to be locked in, focused, and ready to go each and every upcoming week, guys, because that's just what it is. We're taking it one day at a time, one play at a time, and one week at a time. And with that being said, guys, guess what? By now, you all may know, we've been talking about this way, way in advance, though, guys, but it's official that the SPY, or the S&P 500, if you will, is officially in bear market territory. So with that being said, because that's the major index that everything follows, the one I always talk about every day in the Discord for a reason, because that is now down or have hit down 20%, okay? Now the clock is ticking, okay? So today what I wanna do is talk to you guys about what you need to do now that we are officially in a bear market but i want you to know this guys because you need to know the landscape in which you're working with okay although officially we are in a bear market now the qqq been in a bear market okay you already have indexes like the iwm or the russell 2000 if you will okay been in a bear market okay go look at any stock that if you look at one month, three months, or one year, if it's down 20% or more, you've been in a bear market in that stock, okay? So all this little trying to be nitty gritty to the technical detail, long story short, we've been in a bear market. It's just official now because Wall Street and all their plays is down 20% or more now too. So that's when they start acknowledging stuff. But just because that's the case, let me prepare you guys for two things we need to be on the lookout for and potentially be doing as a family around here okay one is the fact that a bear market okay guys you're going to be in this now officially unless something magically happens i want you to consider yourself in this for the next several months okay i'm talking about november 1st okay i'm talking about that type of time frame don't look at it as doom and gloom. I want you to say this to yourself. From now, so just say May or June, just because we're getting close to the end of the month. From June till November, at the bare minimum, I am going to build. Okay? I'm not going to miss this opportunity. I'm going to everybody write this in the comments. I'm not missing my opportunity. The reason why that's important, guys, because so many times I tell you the story all the time. I remember people that miss certain down times and down periods in the market and they always say man chris i wish we had another opportunity to buy i would have been up so much by now listen guys i'm here i'm pounding the table i'm talking about it as often as i can we build right now we're building for the next how many months is this let's just count june july august september october november for the next six months we are in build mode so don't look for nothing out of your portfolio from a stock standpoint yes if you rock with me we're gonna make a ton of money with options okay we're gonna make a ton of money doing options over the next six months over the next year and beyond that's that's a given if you over here i'm talking about the investing side of this okay i want so many of you i want for so many of you to be able to lead a corporate plantation i want for so many of you to have the freedom to retire early okay to retire young okay to do what you want to do when you want to do it i'm talking about that type of wealth that type of freedom okay this is the time to do it so that again when the rally happens and the, everything comes back full circle your money shoots up to the moon guys and i'm telling you it just changes things it changes things but we got to do the work you got to be paying off debt you have to be making sure that you're getting your expenses in order. You're putting set aside money for investing, putting set aside money for the other stuff you're trying to take care of. You're building out your emergency funds. You're doing all these things. You should have many things working for you so that when you come out of this bear market, guys, you are better for it, okay? So that's the main thing that I want you guys to know. Around here, we are building 
for the next six months minimum, okay? If it want to go longer than November 1st, okay, we're going to stay in build mode, okay? And by this time, if you got any level of money to invest, okay, you need to be considering dollar cost averaging, okay? Now, listen to this. I want to talk to you guys about the fact that we can't time a bottom, but you can always find a price that you like. I'm going to say that one more time. Nobody can time a bottom, but it is okay to find a price that you like. Let's unpack that for a minute. Check this out, guys. I know, and I want you guys to think along these same lines. There's millions of stocks in the stock market, okay? Some companies are better than others. That just is what it is. If you know for the longest of time, man, I've always wanted to invest in this. Man, I've always wanted to invest in that. I've never been able to get this at this price. Guys, now is going to be your time. Now is going to be your opportunity. You are about to be able to get all the stocks you have ever heard of, all the stocks you hear everybody else raving about at attractive prices, okay? Because like I've been telling you, if you rock with me, I've been calling this out since last year, 2021. I told you every play that would fall to what price, spot on, okay? But with that being said, they're even about to go down even further so you can get the stocks you know, like, and love for even cheaper. Does that make sense? So listen to this. We can never time a bottom, but guess what? If I'm going to invest in Apple and if I think Apple can still do well longer term, I like Apple at 120 or below. Okay, 140 is cool. Remember I was telling you guys it was going to come to 140. 140 is cool, but I like Apple at 120 or below. So 120, 115, 110, 105, 199, 95, 85. Imagine that. This is how I determine my bottom. I don't. All I do is have prices that I like certain stocks that quality stocks, not just any random thing, not any high risk play. I'm talking about quality, well ran companies. I have in my head, I've been sharing with you guys for 12 months now plus. Apple to 140, Apple to 120. That's an example. Tesla to 500. That's one example. But first it had to fall to 910 before it makes its way down to 500. Does that make sense? You guys know we hit a home run with Tesla last year. So I know you know. We all bought it together. We all doubled our money. Okay. But with that being said though, guys, I don't look for a bottom. I look for companies that I love and like or want to invest in. Okay. And then I look and I think about, man, three years ago, I saw that stock at that price, but I missed it. Five years ago, this stock was at this price, but I wasn't able to get it this time. I was busy. I was paying off my house or I was doing something else. Okay. That kind of ordeal is what I'm talking about. Matter of fact, I want you guys to look at your five year chart on any stock you're interested in and see a realistic level that you see on that chart that's identified that the stock may fall to. So I keep telling you guys, if the market continue to go down, Apple will come to 120, okay? Now, beyond 120, we have to see how the market is doing. Did we start to recover a little bit? Did we get a fluke bounce, okay? But if, say if it keeps coming down further, Apple may come to 115, 107. It might come to 85. And if it do that, I like that, especially if it's in this six month window of building that we're going to be doing around here. OK, so I want you guys to be thinking about this whole thing from that standpoint. Now is my opportunity to build. I won't miss this opportunity. I won't miss it this time. OK, I want you guys to be thinking along those lines because it's just important that, you know, we have officially entered a bear market even though your play has been in a bear market. But now you need to know, you need to acknowledge it, you need to embrace it and say, don't get caught up in that portfolio stuff. You guys notice that Warren Buffett, he's down 30 plus billion in just one stock, let alone all the other, all his other plays are down. From myself to him and any other successful investor, do you notice we don't care about our portfolio value being down? That's just par for the course that come with the territory guys that's gonna pop right back up when we come out the bear market and the market recovers okay that comes i'm talking about that's so don't get caught up in that i want you to know you need to be building you need to be buying building mean buy 
build means buy that means invest buy means invest so that means find one of three stocks you like and do your best to get as much money as you can in a responsible way at levels that we discuss on this channel or even lower lower the better mark my words chris said the lower or better he says for us to always buy low so if i'm telling you apple to 120 if you see apple at 110 that's even better don't say oh it's 110 now i thought 120 no i mean buy more of it get as much as you can at that level because the name of the game is to buy low okay so that's what i wanted to kind of put on you guys man the fact that we're in a bear market is official now even though guys i've been already on this way way in advance but nevertheless you got to respect it though okay you have to respect it you got to respect the time frame that will endure this downtrend okay but listen to this this is the second and last and final point look at how long remember i told you go look at all those individual plays that's been down 20 plus percent 50 percent 70 percent 80 percent okay remember i told you real and us that's been in the market we've been seeing the plays come down in advance but guess what although the s p 500 may have to go down for the next six months guess what guys you're gonna see other plays begin to come out early okay you need to know that everything some of this stuff already been down so the stuff that got beat down first is also going to be the first to recover when that happens i hope you guys have stuck around to the end to hear that this is probably the most profound piece of this video the stuff that has been beaten down first so if your plays start going down since february of 2021 that's when it first started all the way for the rest of 2021 ever since november 2021 all the way to now all those plays or just go look anything that's down significantly a lot of those companies especially the one that's ran good the quality ones of that okay will be the first to start the recovery process think about some of your small caps okay so just know that wall street is always a day late and a dollar short so they're just now calling the official bear market when we on main street been in a bear market plays been down the qqq been down the russell been down okay we just wait for the other indexes to catch up we'll be like what y'all waiting on we've been here we already been in a bear market okay so with that being said just know that so all plays not some plays gonna begin to run don't get caught slipping that's why we got to be on top of our a game i won't hold you guys up listen guys we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one remember most people see the end result very few consider the journey do me a favor don't forget to like subscribe to the channel make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace